Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and we're with Charlie Arola. Good to see you, Lou. Good to see you. And Charlie, again, is bringing us another fantastic car from his collection. Charlie, share with him what you have today. It's a 1971 Porsche 911S Targa. And the S version is the top of the line. Top of the line. Let's not take any further delay in getting to our top of the line car. Now, a little bit of backstory real quick. So why the Porsche out of all the cars in the world? Uh, I like the quality, uh, I like the craftsmanship, and uh, they're fun to drive. How long have you had this one? I bought this one in uh, December of 1990. So this one's a member of the family. It is. And you also shared that uh, in high school, tell a little bit of that story. Well, in high school, uh, I started my love affair with Porsches uh, for, with the 356, and I was fortunate enough to get my cousin to loan me his, and so I drove it to our senior 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 ball. <laughs> Here's the car. Charlie, stand right alongside me. I'm just going to move my camera stand. Ah, that is the way a Porsche should look. Enjoy the rally lights. Gives it just a little bit more. I don't know, jewelry, spice, and spice is nice. Charlie, I enjoy the fact that you drive all your cars. Now these rally lights, are these all period correct? They are period correct. Porsche option thingies? Yes. Okay. People sometimes on the channel say, Lou, you don't know a thing about cars. And I'm like, yeah, that's okay, because the caretaker is supposed to know all about the car. I'm learning just like you are, so. And those are the original wheels. That's awesome. Now, not the original tires, original no, rims. Okay, no. gotcha, right, just right, the right. Wheels. right. We have another mutual friend that has actually original tires on his car. Check out the 57 Chevy Survivor with the original tires. Now that's just, if you like Porsche, that should do something for you right there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now the target's fun, right? Especially yeah. when you get to take the top off. That is great. Perfectly blends with the car. The only S on the car, correct? Yes. They're Actually, right uh, on this one, there's a second one on the glove box. Is that right? All right, I'll check that out. Gold lettering, any reason why it's gold lettering? The S is a head uh, gold lettering. Ah, okay. And the other ones were what, E and T? Uh, e and T. <laughs> you may be wondering why Porco, and that's because Charlie was a chief of police. So it's nice to see our chief of police has some fun. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, was this car restored? It came this way. I know you're the second owner. It, it has been restored. The uh, body has been repainted and the interior has been redone. What's the color white? It's Grand Prix white. Grand Prix white, okay. So let's, uh, let's go to our trunk and treat, shall we? Grand Prix white. I'm just curious, any electrical problems ever with this or? No. no none? No. Okay, of course not. Actually, I misspoke on the color too. Really? Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's light ivory. And light not white. ivory. Yeah. The original <laughs> owner was a, uh, a uh, German professor at Stanford University, and so he picked up the car in Europe and then drove it and then had it shipped over, and that's why he has the. Uh, the owner's uh, manual in German as well. That is great. That is great. The 
original equipment. Right there it is. Water for the uh, windshield? Yes. Okay. And then what is that? That's the uh, radiator? That's the uh, brake fluid. Brake fluid. fluid. Brake fluid. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll shut that. And am I saying, I'm saying dual. One here? Yes, one on each side. And one on each side, okay. It's like pulling it right out of the factory from, and pulling it right into your driveway. Let's take a look at the, uh, no, let's, let's do the interior first. This car had a couple of rare options. Okay. Uh, one was the uh, the upholstery. It was done in, in leather and not vinyl. I smell it as soon as you open it. Yeah. It really smells good. And then because the, the owner was German, uh, he wanted uh, metric gauges. So the car was, although it was a U.S. car, it was built with uh, European gauges. Really? And they're still present. And this opens your engine compartment. Yes. Let's take a look at those gauges, shall we? Well, first of all, before we get right there, I'm seeing that there. And a little number M8. I'm reading that right. And that gauge is an outdoor uh, exterior temperature gauge. The owner had that installed as well by the factory. That's interesting, right? Yeah. Well, he had a, I guess he had a, a thing for uh, heat and cold because he tried to get Porsche to build the car with a white target top, but they refused to do it. Hmm. So when the car arrived in the U.S., he had it recovered, and when I purchased it, the top was white. Mm -hmm. Your stock. Your stock on this side. Correct stereo? Uh, I believe it was, uh, I think that's the original radio. And there, as Charlie shared before, is the other 911S in silver this time. Our five speed. How does it shift, Charlie? Uh, it shifts uh, really smooth. Right. Uh, after this year, the shift pattern was changed. Uh, and uh, in this one, uh, first gear is to the driver and down, and in the, the later cars it was to the driver and up. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, red is uh, emergency brake? Uh, no, the red is the, uh, that's the uh, valve for the heater to, to uh, send warm air from the engine into the heating system. Okay. And then the other one is the uh, hand throttle. Oh, interesting. A custom, custom uh, steering wheel. Uh, yeah, the uh, there's not a lot of room for a big guy like me, so <laughs> a little bit smaller wheel helps. So you can drive it. Okay, let's uh, let's look at the engine compartment. Hey, Charlie, I'm going to do something if you don't mind. Why don't we drive it around so I can actually have the engine in the sun? Sure. We'll see it just drive around here. I'm going to move my stand out of the way. I'm going to take advantage of that because I don't want to. I don't want to miss it. around so wonderfully. Oh yes, that was a good idea. That 
was a very good idea. Flat six. Flat six with mechanical fuel injection. 2.2 liter. 2.2 liter. A high winding car and uh, had 180 horsepower. Which is pretty good for a car that only weighs about 2,300 pounds. That's not bad. That's a nice little ratio there. I like how the oil filter's right there. When you take the oil filter off, does it just drain all right there? Or is it... No, that's a, it's a dry sump system. Okay. There's a tank in the fender, so you drain it from the bottom, you drain the sump system, and you remove the filter. Okay. Alright, let's uh, fire it, shall we? Sure. I mean, we just had it fired, but let's, let's see it operational. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, go to the My Car Story with the website. If you'd like to get the monthly email, hit that like button. <laughs> uh, that just sounds and looks so wonderful. Hmm. Delightful. You know, if more people watch My Car Story, there'd be a lot less problems in the world. You know what I mean? It's a car <laughs> like this, just it actually calms you. You know what I mean? Charlie knows that I came barreling in here like a my hair on fire just to hang out and see his cars. And boy, is it worth it. It's just so much fun with the intake going in, everything. You got the sun hitting the valve covers. Charlie, what a treat. So fun to see you as usual. Thanks for being on my car story. Oh, you're more than welcome. It's always a pleasure having you here, Lou. Thank you.